All right, guys, this is Tacho here, and today we're going to be playing Pokemon Gold. Yeah, this is a really old game, but it just recently came out today along with Pokemon DX for the Switch. So you can play this game on your 3DS Virtual Console now, which is pretty awesome. This, and me, this game and me go way back, guys. This was like one of my favorite games ever. Probably my defining game from my childhood. So this is really nostalgic, just being able to do a Let's Play of this. And just like the Castlevania Aria of Sorrow Let's Play, this one is going to be a pretty easy one for me to go from start to finish since this is a game that I've played so many times. I just have it all in the back of my head. So this is not going to be a tough one at all. Alright, pretty weird looking Charizard there, but alright. Oh man, this this loading screen just... Oh man, that brings me back. Okay, let's get started. I'm just gonna set the settings to my liking. Uh, should we keep the animations on? I mean, it's gonna make the game go slower, but I, I guess we might as well leave them on. The nice thing about Gen 2 is, of course, that the uh what you call it is actually really good in this game the battle animations the attacks and the sound effects all right i like that one all right that was the first one so all right sure all right here we go hmm what you woke me up will you check the clock for me what time is it all right so we're gonna use the real time it is currently 6 50 p.m which is sadly nighttime. I wish I could have started in the daytime, but all right, we're going to start at night. 6:50. No wonder it's so dark. Hello. Sorry to keep you waiting. Welcome to the world of Pokémon. My name is Oak. People call me the Pokémon Prof or Professor. This world is inhabited by creatures that we call Pokémon. People in Pokémon live together by supporting each other. Some people play with Pokemon, some battle with them. But we don't know everything about Pokemon yet. There are still many mysteries to solve. That's why I study Pokemon every day. Now, what did you say your name was? Alright, we're gonna go ahead and be Tacho. Okay, looks good. Tacho, are you ready? Your very own Pokemon story is about to unfold. You'll face fun times and tough challenges. A world of dreams and adventures. With Pokemon awaits. Let's go. I'll be seeing you later. Alrighty. So, we're playing. Let me just... I think there's a potion in here. Alright, maybe not. I, get, I think that was in Red and Blue. Where you could get a potion if you talk to the PC. Oh, Tacho. Our neighbor, Professor Elm, was looking for you. He said he wanted to do something. He wanted you to do something for him. Oh, I almost forgot. Your Pokemon. Your Pokemon gear is back from the repair shop. Here you go. Alright, we got the Poke Gear there. Pokemon, Pokemon gear or just Poke Gear. It's essential if you want to be a good trainer. Oh, the day of the week isn't set. You mustn't forget that. What day is it? Alright, so it's Friday today. Hashtag Rebecca Black. <laughs> that, that's pretty old by this point. I don't think that's even a meme anymore. Is it daylight savings time? I don't even know, man. Just put no. 6.52 p.m. Is that okay? Yep. Alrighty. Come home to adjust your clock for daylight savings time. By the way, do you know how to use the phone? Yeah, I do. Don't you just turn the Poke Gear on and select the phone icon? Phone numbers are stored in memory. Just choose a name you want to call. Gee, isn't that convenient? Alright, so let's get started on our journey. We're gonna go pick up our first Pokemon. Let me just talk to this guy real quick before we do that. So, this is the famous Elm Pokemon Lab. What are you staring at? Alright, well, geez. <laughs> He's a real douche, isn't he? Alright, but let's go ahead and talk to the professor. Tacho, there you are. I needed to ask you a favor. I have an acquaintance called Mr. Pokemon. That's a pretty awesome name if you lived in the Pokemon world just to be called Mr. Pokemon. That's like your Pokemon professional there. He keeps finding weird things and raving about his discoveries. Anyway, I just got an email from him 
saying that this time it's real. It is intriguing, but we're busy with our Pokemon research. Could you look into it for us? I'll give you a Pokemon for a partner. They're all rare Pokemon that we just found. Go on, pick one. Alright, so who should we pick, guys? Who's our starter gonna be? Alright, we've got Cyndaquil there, the fire type. And we also have Totodile, I believe this one is, yup. And then the last one is Chikorita. So, who should I take? I think I'm gonna go back to the old school with the nostalgia and just pick the very first one that I took the first time I played this game and... And that actually happened to be Totodile. So we're gonna take Totodile. Alright. Should we give him a nickname? I, I can't really come up with a good nickname, but I guess we'll name him something. You know what? Let's name him Croc. In honor of Viet Crystal. If you guys ever watched that Let's Play, that's probably my favorite Let's Play of all time. Mr. Pokemon lives near Cherry Grove, the next city. It's almost a direct route to there. <laughs> that was a really weird sentence. It's almost a direct route to there. Alright. If your Pokemon is hurt, you should heal it with this machine. Oh, here's my phone number. Call me if something comes up. Alright, so we got his number. I don't really know why that's necessary, because we never actually call him, but he calls us. So, I, I guess I should have given him my number, right? Because we never call him, but he's going to be calling us all the time. Alright, Tacho, I want you to have this for your errand. Alright, we got a potion. So, this is where you get the potion instead of getting it from the PC, like in Red and Blue. There are only two of us, so we're always busy. Alright, so not much longer now and we'll be able to really start the game, but... We're still in the tutorial for now. I'm sure everyone already realizes that. There's not too much to say. Everyone's played this game, so it's just a real easy game for us to sit back and relax on. Alright, I got lucky there. We didn't run into anything. I guess I might as well try not to. Alright, well, so much for that. As soon as I try not to, we end up running into a Rattata. Alright, he's only level 2, so he's gonna be a walk in the park. Alright, that's a 3 hit KO. The nice thing about this game is that I don't have to worry about natures or IVs or EVs or any of that nonsense. We just catch whatever we want and just play. I guess IVs are still a thing in this game because instead of going up to 31, they go up to 15 in this one. So, IVs are still a thing in this game. I didn't even check my stats. Let me just go ahead and take a look at this guy. Alright, he's got pretty low attack, but pretty good defense. And overall, his stats look pretty meh, I guess. Normally, you would want like 12 or 13 in attack or special attack. But he kind of sucks, but that's okay. We'll take him anyway. Alright. So yeah, IVs are still a thing in this game, but the nice thing about this game is that aside from IVs, there's really nothing else to worry about because natures aren't in the game yet and there are EVs, but the good thing about the EVs in red and blue and gold and silver is that you don't have to actually EV train because every stat can get capped out on EVs. So there's no EV distribution, you just go ahead and train until you get all the stats you want. Okay, so we're going to Mr. Pokemon's house, but before we go there, I'm just gonna stop by this berry house and get a couple of berries for the road. You know, Pokemon eat berries. Well, my Pokemon got healthier by eating a berry. Here, I'll share one with you. Okay. Check trees for berries. They just drop right off. Okay. Okay. Alright, here's another encounter. What do we got this time? Okay, we got a Hoot Hoot this time. He's level 4 though. <laughs> this one's pretty badass. We we haven't even leveled up yet and this guy's almost catching up to us. Ah oh, man, he's using Growl. I have Leer. I'm gonna use Leer. I love the animation for Leer in this game. It's just a freaking laser beam. <laughs> Compare that to... 
like red and blue. It was just kind of like a little light that shows up above your head, I think. I remember when I first played this game just being completely in awe at the animations for a lot of the attacks and just how smooth the overall graphics were. This was a really good game, guys. When it came out, I'm sure you already know. I don't even need to say it. Anyone who's played Pokemon knows that this is widely regarded to be one of the best entries ever, actually. Even to this day, this is still one of the best. Alright, so we got some stats there. I don't really... I don't think this is a good crocodile or... <laughs> crocodile? <laughs> nah, it's a totodile. I don't think this is a very good totodile. He didn't look like he had pretty good IVs. But we're gonna make do. It's only... It's just a let's play. There's no need to really go hard on it. Okay, I should probably use the speed up feature because I have the turbo feature enabled. So we could speed through all these wild battles if I wanted to, but we're just gonna... Because I still need some experience, we're just gonna fight him. Alright, so we got the berry to activate there. This game also introduced hold items, so that's... The first time you're playing the game and then all of a sudden your Pokemon starts healing when he gets hurt. You'd probably be like, oh man, what's going on there? But that's something they added to this game, which was the hold items, and that wasn't in red and blue. So it was really awesome to have that in this game, and it just added another layer of depth to your actual tactics in battle. I don't think there were too many good hold items in the game just yet, though. I think Marowak has a good one, the Thick Club, and of course Leftovers, which everyone uses on pretty much any Pokemon because it's just that good. But aside from that, I don't really think there were too many other really good hold items in the game yet. All that stuff came during Gen 3 where we started really getting into the battling concept and the game got a whole lot more complicated. They added abilities and natures and you had to EV train specifically, so the game was very different from Gen 3 and onwards. But we're still in Simple Town, so it's a real, it's really relaxing just being able to play a Pokemon game and not have to worry about any of the advanced stuff that comes in the later titles. Hello, hello. You must be Tacho. Professor Elm said that you would visit. This is what I want Professor Elm to examine. Okay, it's a mystery egg. I know a couple who run a Pokemon daycare service. They gave me that egg. I was intrigued, so I sent mail to Professor Elm. For Pokemon Evolution, Professor Elm is the authority. Even Professor Oak here recognizes that. If my assumption is correct, Professor Elm will know. Aha, so you're Tacho. I'm Oak, a Pokemon researcher. I was just visiting my old friend, Mr. Pokemon. I heard you were running an errand for Professor Elm. So I waited here. Oh, what's this? A rare Pokemon? Let's see. Hmm, I see. I understand why Professor Elm gave you a Pokemon for this errand. To researchers like Professor Elm and I, Pokemon are our friends. He saw that you would treat your Pokemon with love and care. Ah, you seem to be dependable. How would you like to help me out? See, this is the latest version of the Pokedex. It automatically records data on Pokemon you've seen or caught. It's a high-tech encyclopedia. Alright, so we got the Pokédex there. Go meet many kinds of Pokémon and complete that Pokédex. But I've stayed too long. I have to get to Goldenrod for my usual radio show. Tacho, I'm counting on you. You are returning to Professor Elm? Here, your Pokémon should have some rest. I'm depending on you. Okay. So now we get the phone call. This is where the plot thickens. H hello Tacho, it's a disaster. Oh, uh, um, it's just terrible. What should I do? It, oh no. Please, get back here now. Click. I don't even know why I read the click, but... <laughs> Alright, sure. Okay, so, something's going down at the Pokemon Lab. We gotta hightail it back there and find out what happened. 
All right, so here's another level four hoot hoot. I'm just gonna use the speed up feature, guys. I don't really care. All right, so that battle was... Yeah, I'm just gonna speed through all these wild battles. We don't need to worry too much about battling just yet. 